God damn it, why am I talking about this again? So Destiny released a video of himself debating Alex Stein, and it's one of the most puerile and pointless debates I've seen in a while. They appeared on Killstream to discuss the topic of sexual harassment, specifically Alex Stein sexually harassing AOC. See, hey, my favorite big booty Latina, I love you AOC, you're my favorite. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. Watch your little selfie. I love it. My favorite AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. Guy okay, right there. Right there. He, when I was walking up, um, he said, hey, look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. One, two, three. I got big booty. Juicy booty. Big juicy booty. So yeah, that's the background to the debate. So as you can tell, Alex Stein is a pretty good troll. I'm not necessarily saying he's all that funny, but he is good at getting under people's skin. So when you talk about Alex Stein, who am I? Why did I sexually harass AOC? Do you think it was, I went there because I was so horny that I'm going to try to sleep with a congresswoman? And trust me, there's congresswomen that I could probably sleep with. You know, uh, you'd be surprised. I'm, I mean, I'm getting dialed in, but that's neither here nor there. Back to my point um, at hand. So you say, Alex, why did you go up to AOC and say, you're my favorite big booty Latina and you're very sexy? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because AOC has a pattern of saying the reason why people don't like her is because people want to date her. Well, guess what? I don't want to date her, but what I do want to do is I want to make her uncomfortable. Destiny made the same mistake AOC did. Alex Stein is clearly not taking this seriously. He clearly doesn't give a shit, so there's no point taking the bait. Why did her fiancé not, not turn his head, not say, hey, buddy? Probably because he's a cuckold, and I can tell with this debate we have an expert in cuckoldry. When I saw this, I was like, oh, crap. This is where this debate is going. Stein is going to troll Destiny. For those of you who don't know, Destiny is in an open relationship. Good question. Do you have to, do you have to ask her before which girl you're allowed to fuck? Unfortunately, sometimes. <laughs> so we, you, I mean, we communicate. We talk to each other about things. Sometimes. So, like, will you be at a bar and be like, yo, this dude's eyeing me up. I'm going to do it. And then he's like, I right. How does that work? Yes, or like, I'm going to go visit someone. That is wild. How the hell do you do that? Is it true that um, you let your girlfriend have sex with other men? <laughs> we are in an open relationship, meaning that we can be with other people if we want to, yeah? Now, this doesn't bother me, and I don't really care what Steven gets up to. I wouldn't want it for my relationships, and it does make me cringe if I'm honest. But at the end of the day, it doesn't affect me, so I don't really care. But he brought this up wantonly, clearly to exasperate Destiny. Destiny shouldn't take the bait and just ignore his trolly comments. You have a big booty Latina where you're wearing a tight white dress and she's definitely wearing a thong under that dress. There was no panty line. I was very close and trust me, I was looking. Again, he's quite obviously not taking this seriously. If she and I heard I were working at Best Buy and I said to my coworker, oh, you got a big booty Latina. Yes, that is sexual harassment. But for me to call out a politician that is a multi-millionaire, that is the most popular congresswoman, other than probably Nancy Pelosi, that's actually quite an important distinction. That kind of quote-unquote sexual harassment in the workplace would be illegal. But this happened in public. Destiny isn't claiming that it was illegal, but it is an important distinction. Yeah, do you think it's possible to make people uncomfortable without sexually harassing them? No, it's impossible. In order to make somebody uncomfortable, you have to say you have a tight ass. Alex was right to respond in such a sardonic fashion. I get that Destiny is trying to lead him somewhere, but still, it's a stupid question. Okay, cool. So then if we can find other ways to do it, do you think there are some ways that are wrong to make people uncomfortable? Would throwing bricks at politicians be okay? Because that might provoke a response. Well, no, that Again, I understand that Destiny is trying to lead him somewhere, but this is such a stupid comparison. They're different on so many levels. Throwing bricks at a politician, one, is illegal. Two, it's dangerous. What Alex did was mean, maybe even wrong. I wouldn't do it, and I wouldn't encourage others to do it. If he wants to do it, he's within his rights. There's different levels to immorality. And what Alex did to throwing bricks are so far apart that one is illegal and one is not illegal. But luckily in this country, everything called freedom of speech. Exactly. He has the right to say it. And Destiny can wag his finger and cry that Alex is mean all day. 
but that's really all he can do. And catcalled by every construction worker in the city is not the same as getting a brick and hitting a politician with it. Did I say it was the same? No, but you're insinuating wait, that, wait, that, that I, I could have. I'm not insinuating. I if I, if I, I ask understand you, your if I, insinuation. If I, let me finish. If I ask you if something else is wrong, does that mean I'm saying it's the same thing as the other thing? Alex, do you think that? Do you know? Do, do you know what? It, do you know what? A, do you know what a comparison means when you compare two? Yes, yeah, I, I know. But we're comparing. You know that when you, know that when you we're you comparing know that physical what, assault uh -huh. to cat calling. Right, yep. So why do you think I'm making that comparison? Because you're saying that there's levels of assault. I'm guessing, and that no. I could have thrown a brick at her. No. Nope. Well, then That's you tell okay. me. Sure. Tell me I why can, you're yeah, making sure. that comparison. The comparison is that both of them are probably wrong. Probably shouldn't do either. Wow, Destiny, is that your argument? I don't imagine there's anyone who's arguing that what Alex did was a nice thing to do. Would you make the same argument about a TV show like South Park? South Park for years has made fun of celebrities, politicians, and stereotyping pretty much everyone possible. What South Park is doing is technically wrong slash immoral, but would I say they shouldn't do it? No, because it's funny and it's not that wrong. Would I say the creators of South Park should go out and throw bricks at people or kill people? No, because that would be too far. You probably don't well, need don't to do Don't you either. think one is less wrong and one is totally legal and one is a felony assault that would get you in jail for up to 20 years? Don't you think that there's a huge difference between catcalling and actually assaulting somebody with a brick and going to jail? As I said already, what Alex did wasn't nice, but is it acceptable? I think yes, and that's what's reflected in the law. The morality of what Alex did is debatable, so there's no point comparing it to something which most people would find unacceptable, such as throwing a brick. Can you only compare two things that are the exact same, Alex? So Our we, we acknowledge we were, when we compare things, we're comparing two different things because they're not the same. So anytime I compare two things, of course, they're going to be different. So Obviously, Destiny, but you can compare anything. It's not a question of can you compare them, it's a question of is it a useful comparison. And comparing something that might be acceptable from a moral point of view, like what Alex did, to something that's clearly unacceptable, like throwing a brick, is not a useful comparison. Your justification for engaging in sexual harassment, which you yourself admitted if you'd done to a fellow employee at Best Buy, would be sexual harassment, was that mm -hmm. I did it because it made a politician uncomfortable. Well, with that justification, you could do a whole host of actions to politicians, like throwing bricks at them. But we both agree that that would obviously be wrong, even though it would satisfy that condition of making somebody uncomfortable. So you're gonna need another justification to do an action that you yourself admit would be immoral if you did it in any other circumstance in order to do it. So you have to tell me, why is it acceptable to harass female politicians sexually? Obviously, there's different subjective levels to what is acceptable. Also, you have to define acceptable. Is that from a legal point of view or morally? That's the comparison. And both of them would be wrong things to do to somebody. Do we agree with that? Well, no, because she so called... So sexual you, assault you, is okay no, sometimes? Do, yes, it is. Because do you agree oh, that okay. she said that, that... Do you agree with me on this, that she said that we need to make politicians uncomfortable? That's true and very pertinent. No, but you know this because you admitted you couldn't do it. If it was sexual harassment, then why didn't I go to jail? Why didn't I get in trouble? Why didn't I, know, I don't think sexual harassment is illegal. I don't know if you get, if well, you go to jail. Should it have been illegal what he did to the congressman? Because she seemed to imply that he should have been put in jail if it was a just... I don't know what she implied. I don't care what she implied. I don't think it's illegal well, to illegal. like catcall people. Yes, exactly. It's not illegal. So what are you complaining about? That it's not nice? That it's immoral? Destiny using the or word which he does, is immoral. It's not nice. But who cares? Because it's not that immoral. It's not bad enough to make crime. Even though they have crimes I mean, there for are much things, lesser There stuff. are things that are bad that probably shouldn't be illegal. Obviously, Destiny, things like using the or word, for example, which you do, are bad, but probably shouldn't be illegal. Because they're not that bad. If I question you on why you use the or word, you're probably gonna tell me, ah, I know it's bad, but it's not that bad. Being mean to AOC, hurting her feelings, is bad, but that's it. It'd be the same if we had a debate about you using the R word. We're not gonna get anywhere, because you will agree that it's not nice to use the R word. You're not gonna stop, and you're free to use it. 
if, if there's going to be politicians that are trying to get in legislation to kill little babies, then I'm going to say stuff to them. Other than the woman that works at Best Buy who has nothing to do with abortion, I'm going to go after the politicians that can actually enact legislation that makes little babies die in the womb. I think abortion is sick and disgusting. My parents are not married when they got pregnant with me. Thank God they still had me. So for me, abortion is a big deal. Alex thinks she's killing babies. In his mind, it's definitely justified to be a bit mean to her. Yeah, if you feel so strong about this, why not, then man up, then man up and throw respect. a brick. Man up and throw a brick. See, that's how dumb you are. That's, you see, just said that never, AOC physically deserves and absolutely go to jail. no. I'm not you said, a retard oh, like so, oh, you. I'm so not you just, throw a so brick. everything you just said oh, was posturing. Oh, it was all posturing. Oh, I think AOC is the worst type of person in the world. She literally murders babies. Oh, but I'm too scared to throw a brick at her. You don't understand nuance. Fucking hell, this shows you how puerile and pointless this debate is. It's so strange that Destiny even suggests this. Aside from the obvious legal ramifications of that action, I think most people would agree that throwing a brick at someone is too far. Uh, but it came up on the screen. Destiny, how can you judge Alex for this when you said the BLM writers were justified in destroying government property? I think that rioting against government property is fundamentally different than attacking an individual. I don't think it'd be justified against <laughs> killing a... Oh my god. Fair play to the caller or viewer who brought up this point. How can Destiny sit there sanctimoniously judging Alex Stein while he advocated for something a lot more dangerous? Physical destruction is a lot more dangerous than a few mean words, not to mention more illegal. And it's also disrespectful of your fellow citizens. Not only are they essentially paying for public property with their tax money, if you live in the neighborhood where that public property was destroyed, it can really bring down the neighborhood. Broken window theory, yada yada. Like, um, yeah, I think that writing is government property is fundamentally different than attacking or harming individuals. I think those are two different things. Oh, but can you not compare two different things? Isn't that what a comparison is, Destiny? You can think that both are unjustified, but at the very least, they're different. And hey, listen, if you're unhappy with your government, you think the government's doing something wrong, I think that writing his government property can be an effective way of oh. showing that. It is an effective way of protesting, I guess. But so is what Alex Stein did, and it was less dangerous. Alex got insane attention from this stunt, including this debate, so you can't say it wasn't effective. So you think it's okay to burn down a building, but for to, to say that you're a big booty Latina is is worse. I think that than to burn burning down, a building? down. I think burning down government property can be a valid way of protesting against the government. What's worse? What's worse in your opinion, burning down a building or saying you're a big booty Latina? They're in, it's incomparable. They're they're too. Wow, what a hypocrite! You're using the same argument that you denounced two minutes ago when Alex was using it. When you compared catcalling to throwing a brick. Alex Stein argued that they were incomparable. So anytime I compare two things, of course, they're going to be different. So, so throwing a brick and catcalling are comparable, but catcalling and damaging public property are incomparable for reasons unknown. Come on, Destiny, you're smarter than that. We're, we're talking Listen, about on. an attack on, on. an inanimate. We're, 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 we're talking about an attack. We're talking about an attack. We're talking about an attack. We're talking about an attack on an inanimate object versus right harassing an actual end. person. If you want to talk about attacking oh, so, a person versus so harassing a person, that's fine. But when I made the comparison between throwing a brick and sexually harassing somebody, both of those were actions that you can take to violate the autonomy of an individual. Now you're trying to get me to compare what's the difference between attacking a building versus doing something to an individual. That's a far different classification of comparisons. So, this is the meekest justification I've ever seen. Okay, but they're both forms of protest. And I would strongly argue that throwing a brick at someone and damaging public property are a lot more similar than catcalling and throwing a brick. Since the former is a physical attack. Alex Stein just used words. Two things are bad is not enough to justify such an extreme difference between the things you're comparing. Okay. Do you think that if I took two completely different things that were both illegal and I put them on the same list, like let's say smoking marijuana and serial rapist, okay, if I put both these things on the same list, is it okay that I have them on the same list even though they're totally different because they share in common the fact that both of them are illegal? So if I was having a conversation about illegal things, I could bring up smoking marijuana and raping somebody even though they're completely different? No, I understand what you're saying. I don't understand. I need you to answer that question. I'm what? trying to walk you very slowly. So can you tell me, can I describe both of those things as illegal and compare them as such? Somebody says, wow, you did an illegal thing like smoking marijuana or raping somebody. Those are both illegal things, are they not? 
Even though they're totally different, they have that in common, yes? Yes. So if somebody says, I'm going to apply pressure to somebody, a politician, by doing an act that would otherwise be considered morally wrong, do you not think it's okay for me to say, well, what about another morally wrong act that would also result in you applying pressure to them? It's so frustrating because destiny's rules are just completely arbitrary. Oh, you can make a comparison between anything. Oh, no, except damaging public property and throwing a brick. They're completely incomparable. I don't know how I feel about like going and finding politicians in real life and, and, har and harassing them. That seems a little bit not good to me. I don't think it's such a good precedent. Yes, Destiny. I agree. It's not a nice thing to do. But is it worth having a whole debate over this since it's not illegal and Alex finds it justified? Anyway, I hope I didn't meander too much and this video took way too long to make, but it was just the strangest debate I've seen in a long time. Destiny 100% lost. His argumentation was completely flawed and arbitrary. Though Alex was very hostile towards Destiny, and I don't know why because his debate with Vosh was very civil. I'm not sure if Alex was so aggressive because he was frustrated with Destiny's dumb arguments, or was it hard for Destiny to think straight because Alex was being so hostile, which would be understandable. Anyway, I think this caller summed it up perfectly. Destiny, you're better than this man.